Hello everybody, I'm Chris and welcome to Melchester, my loft model railway which I started building in 2012 and you can probably see it's more or less complete, all the main scenery and track work and everything is, is more or less complete and you may have seen some of my YouTube videos already depicting some of the, my trains running. Today I'm going to be focusing on this newly completed area over here which as you can see is the good shed and leading into a goods yard and then into a factory. So it's kind of this area serves several different functions. Um, as you can see here uh, this is the good shed so vans etc can unload here then there's this goods yard area with a couple of sidings and uh, which then leads into this little spur here leading into the factory which is kind of um, a private siding for the factory but also as a kind of a head shunt for goods uh, trains entering the goods yard as well and then there's a set of points so that engines can reverse out bypassing the goods shed and eventually back out onto the main line. Today I'm focusing on these coal staves which are the Hornby Scaledale coal staves and I'm not terribly happy with these. Um, to my mind they look very cumbersome and unrealistic, mainly due to the height of them. They're absolutely massive in scale, as you can see next to the this southern region coal wagon here, uh, which would have great difficulty opening the little side doors and emptying its load of coal into the staves. And also the the 45 degree angle of the the banking of the coal is also very unrealistic I think. So I'm going to have a go at scratch building some new coal staves to fit in this spot here. Now before I get on to how I'm going to scratch build these coal staves I just wanted to come over to this corner of the layout which is the engine shed and obviously every engine shed needs a coaling point and as you can see this is my coaling stage here with some coal staves right up against the back seam. Now these I'm very happy with. These are a kit, I think a ratio kit or something like that which I've painted and weathered and added my own coal to and then just sitting alongside that is the, um, the little Backman coaling stage. So I don't have a lot of space in this area for anything more sophisticated than that really, for coaling locomotives. Um, so that is a much better representation to my mind than the, than the Hornby Scaledale version, which will probably be appearing on eBay. <laughs> Um, at very some some stage very soon. So I've had a rummage in my scrap bin um, to see what I'm going to use to make these new coal staves and I've got here some uh, these are actually plant labels wooden plant labels which look a bit like lollipop sticks and I've got a few scraps of balsa wood here um, so this is what I'm going to use hopefully to rustle up some new coal staves. So I've cut the rounded ends off of these lollipop sticks and it's quite a hard wood in a way compared to balsa wood and using a file I'm just taking the burrs off of the ends of these like so. Now, now I'm going to next score 
lines along to make it look like separate planks of wood. So what I'm doing now, as you can see, I've scored along the the plant label uh, to represent what is going to represent sleepers, and then I've taken an old piece of track and measured the length of the sleeper, which is three centimeters. So using a steel rule, every three centimeters, I'm just going to mark a little notch, like so. So to give the effect that this is made using old sleepers. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. You can see I've already done the other side, so you need to do both sides. And it kind of gives the effect that it's going. this is going to have been constructed using old sleepers. Now I've decided to just use one plant label to give me more or less the correct height up against the wagon. You can see the doors now will be able to be clear of the top of the coal stave. So compared to the, the Hornby version, um, this is going to be much more what I want. Okay, so here we are a little bit further on. Um, as you can see, I've now made the partitions which divide the coal staves up into three separate bunkers and I use exactly the same method I just cut the um, the plant label into three centimeter sections and scored them and have glued them to the back piece with a couple of little posts at each end just to add a bit of an extra interest and support and you can see there with the wagon on a little piece of track. Um, you can see that now there's plenty of room for the coal to be unloaded out of the doors into the staves. So I'm just letting that dry and when that's dried I'll come back and we'll paint it up. And it should start to look a bit better. Okay, the, um, the staves have now been glued together and painted first of all just using some brown acrylic paint and then I went over them with a humbral weathered wood colour here and then some black weathering powders. So the staves are in roughly the position that I want them and I've used some scrap card to make these little inserts which will drop in here and they will have coal glued onto them so that's the next stage to fit those so I've glued the coal staves to the base and I've fitted in the card inserts so now all I'm going to do is apply the coal. So I'm going to put some glue, generous amount, on each one. Like so. Doesn't matter if it overflows we want some on the baseboard now I'll do all three so that's the gluing done just double check the positioning to make sure that nothing moved <clears throat> that seems okay. So now I'm applying the real coal granules. So just sprinkle on. Make 
make sure and get into all the corners. That's it. And any excess will be vacuumed up once that's dried. And I may apply some more, another layer on top of that. So that's looking quite good, I think, now. So I'll get back to you when that's dried. So here you can see the finished coal staves. I've glued them in position. The coal has been glued in and I've added one or two extra details such as the National Coal Board lorry which is loaded with coal sacks and a few coal sacks at the side. These are from Model Scene. So let's bring in a coal train and see how it looks. So there we are. You can see now that the coal wagons can clear the top of the coal staves, which they couldn't before with the Hornby version. So quite an easy build, something very easy that you can make at home. Let me know what you think, if it's an improvement on the Hornby coal staves that I had there before. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.